Hey everyone, it's Monday, Monday the 19th, posting this update because I just spent an hour on hold uh, with a tech support customer service line. Um, last month I ordered this, it's uh, the Kodak ZI-8, I'm shooting this on a flip. The ZI-8 is supposed to be way better. It has an external mic, uh, SD card slot, high dev, shoots in 1080p, 720p. Uh, the mode I was looking forward to was the 720p uh, at 60 frames per second, which is better than the flip, which does 30 frames per second. The colors are a little better. Overall, supposedly a better camera. Well, I received the camera last month. Uh, 20, 23rd. I ordered it on the 18th. It arrived on the 23rd. The camera was $161. Um, with the shipping, it was about $192. Uh, but that was fine. It was supposed to be a phenomenal camera. So I get the camera, and uh, in the 720p modes, the ones I wanted to use, 1080p has sort of a zoom and for YouTube, it's not really optimal anyway. There were these vertical lines. Um, sort of faint, but it irritated me. The flip doesn't have them. Uh, it appeared on the LCD screen of the camera. Let me see if I can... Maybe you can see it. Okay, so the camera's on. You go through the modes here. This is 1080p. The lines are not in 1080p. Let me see if it does it in 720. You're probably not going to be able to see it in the video, but there are vertical lines running up and down the screen. Uh, it's especially noticeable in motion. It's kind of weird. Either way, last month I contacted Kodak and I told them about the problem and their technical support told me to send it in for repairs. Now their repairs they sort of outsource to a precision camera and video repair. It's in Connecticut. So uh, after I got off the phone I was like okay I'll send this camera in. Um, I had to pay for the shipping to send the camera to the repair facility. Now I, I've already paid $190 for fast shipping, get this camera, I get it, it's defective. I have to spend another $18 to send it to this repair facility. So I send it to the repair facility, and first of all, they receive it on a Friday, except they don't receive it. It's not in their system until the following Wednesday, uh, which was the 5th or something. So they finally get it into their system. It sits in there a little bit, then it says they have to order parts, they order the parts, the parts finally arrive, it takes them all half a day to fix this camera, and they send it back to me, and the thing that irritates me is I sent it express mail, they send it back UPS ground. So it's taken another week to get the camera back. I just got the camera when I got home from work today, and same problem, they didn't fix anything. And... Now the internal microphone, and this has an external jack, and I have a mic, and I wasn't really going to use it anyway, but it's still irritating, it has this really high-pitched noise. Now you're supposed to be able to fix it with a firmware upgrade. Problem is this camera already has that firmware installed. So the camera's busted, this precision camera was a total bust. So I call Kodak again. Uh, I call their tech support. They tell me they can't do anything, I have to send it back to the repair facility, they'll repair it again for me. I tell them I just want a new camera, a working camera, or I want my money back. They tell me they can't do anything, they don't give refunds, they transfer me to a customer service representative. So the customer service representative uh, tells me that, um, oh, well, we'll look into it, sir, we'll give you a call back. I say, no, no, I'm not, I'm not getting a call back. I'd already been on the phone for a half hour at this point. So I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and they escalate it to a supervisor, and the supervisor hears the same spiel, and the whole thing I told them, a total of $50 in shipping, I want that money back, or at least, you know, the initial shipping cost back. So the supervisor tells me, well, since it was sent in for repair, 
we cannot replace the camera issue or refund without upper management authorization. So the upper management authorization, she's sending it in, and I will receive a call within 24 business hours, and they will either approve or deny this return. Now keep in mind, this camera comes with a 30-day warranty. The repair was covered under warranty. However, it's a 30-day money-back warranty, and they're, they don't, they don't want to give my money back. And I don't even want the money back. I want the camera, I want the camera to work as it's intended to work, and that's feasible. You know, I'm allowed to want the camera to work. So I told him, I was like, just send me a new camera. Well, we need authorization. Uh, meanwhile, when I finally get to the supervisor, uh, up until that point, I had no problem. Um, obviously, everyone on the tech support and the customer service had accents. I I'm not really bothered by that. It's a little irritating, but whatever. Fine. I get to the supervisor, and, and the phone keeps cutting out. Now, it's not my phone. I was using the house phone. Not a cell phone, had nothing to do with signal. On her end, it, it, she would say a couple words. Yes, Mr. And I need you to. You know, it very irritating. Um, so she says she's going to call my cell phone tomorrow uh, and see what the authorization is. Now, here's the other kicker this has already been a month of me waiting to get a working camera. When I get the authorization, they're going to send me an email. The email will have a tracking number. I print out the tracking number. I put it on the the front of the box. How much do you want to bet? It's standard ground shipping. But, whatever. So I ship it back to the Kodak store. Uh, I should have known buying a Kodak, but whatever. It's supposed to be good. So, I have to send it back. They will get it. They will issue me a refund at that point. Now, she assures me that I will get my initial shipping fees back, which were almost $20 to begin with. I will get those initial shipping fees back as a refund, and then I may reorder the camera. Now, here's the thing. If all this goes through, I am not going to order from the Kodak website. You know where I'm going to order from? I'm going to order from Amazon, because if Amazon has it in stock, I get free two-day shipping with their Prime, because I'm a member of Prime, I order a lot of stuff. I'm going to get a free two-day shipping, and they have the same 30-day return policy, and they don't give you any questions. I've had to return one thing to Amazon. It took all four days for me to get a refund. It was perfect. No questions asked, no nothing. Um, the other thing I would like to point out, I sent this camera in pristine condition. I even wrapped it up and sent it, you know, express mail, insurance, everything. And I get the camera back, and there's all these little scratches all over the screen. And I tried to clean it. So obviously at the repair facility, just horrible. So here's my message to you. If you're going to buy a Kodak, and again, this is supposed to be a really phenomenal camera. This is just a defect and they couldn't fix it or whatever. My recommendation is do not buy it from the Kodak store. My recommendation is whatever you do, do not send it in for repair. Just say you want a, a new camera never send it in for repair because they're going to send you to precision camera and video repair who this is an official message here approved by me precision camera are a bunch of hacks they keep your camera for a long time and they do not fix it do not ever send anything to precision camera and video repair in something something connecticut uh... angina drive enfield connecticut zero six zero eight two never okay you're going to buy anything, you know, electronic related. I've bought a TV off of there. Buy it off Amazon. You won't be disappointed. You have any problems, they're just going to, you know, fix it for you. So when this whole ordeal is over, I will post another video. For the time being, however, I am very miffed. I spent, let's see, one hour, four minutes, and 57 seconds on phone with Kodak and they haven't even fixed it yet so we will see updates to come stay away from Kodak and precision camera thank you